Hey guys, so as most of you probably know by now, I'm becoming a forest therapy guide, and one of the things that I really loved about this practice is that the forest is the therapist and I as the guide am just helping people along their journey and making sure that they can make that connection as best as they possibly can, open up their senses and open themselves up to be more receptive of the healing powers of the forest. So I was super excited about that because I was like, wow, I probably don't need much of anything for these walks if I'm just going into the forest and helping these people interact with the forest in various ways. I guess the point I want to make is just better made if I just show you what I have. What I'm about to show you is the things I've accumulated since starting this forest therapy journey. First off is chairs. So, in case people on your walks need to sit down, there are these very small, compact folding chairs that have a little triangle seat that people can sit on. Because I didn't think six was enough, I ended up getting 12. Teacups. More teacups. Because you can never have enough teacups. Then you have to have a nice tapestry for your tea ceremony. So I have this cloth. And then because there might just be one extra person, just one more cup. And then for those people who don't want the chairs, but still want to sit on the ground, but maybe it's too wet for them, or they don't like the feeling of the earth, you have these plastic cutting boards. So I have 12 of these guys. The first aid kit. Pens for the evaluation forms and the other papers that you must sign. All the papers with many articles as well for future reading. The teapot for the tea that we make at the end. Extra fuel because you never know when you're going to run out. Water for the tea. A lighter to light the stove. A little pouch to put your tea leaves in. A little handkerchief bandana thing for the scrolls. The scrolls. Extra paper and thread to tie if there are extra people on your walks. A shawl if anyone's cold. An extra sweater. A jacket if anyone needs it. A hat. Another hat. And then the most important thing of all is the snacks. Here are a bunch of apples. And for the people who think apples are too healthy or mm, that's too much sugar, there's always chocolate. I think over the past three months that I've been on my way to certification, I've acquired more things than I have in the past like three years of, of my life. Anyway, I was just kind of showcasing the reality versus what my expectations were when I first entered forest therapy and um, what I imagined the things would be that I would have to get afterward is nothing compared to what I've gotten. Um, and it's not to say that you have to get anything or I had to get all this stuff. That was just the things that I felt comfortable getting and having as a guide. That's really all I have to share. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. If you have more questions about forest therapy or anything related to that, you can leave them below and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. I'll see you guys in another more serious video very soon. I hope you're having an amazing day.